All right, lads, so round four of the seventh anniversary is officially beginning tomorrow. A lot of exciting things are coming away, and we're about to break it down all in this video. So just a friendly reminder, this is only the fourth campaign of what is about to be seven years and seven campaigns, right? So this entire anniversary event is going all the way to basically like mid-month September. That was announced on live stream, so we have definitely more things to look forward to, more freebies, more free stuff. The anniversary is just starting, but it isn't ending anytime soon. So if you feel like something is maybe missing in this part of the campaign, don't worry, more is set to come. And the first thing that is coming is the seventh anniversary Choose a Six Star. We have already talked about it in the channel. I'm broke down the cards that you might want to go for and we were correct in saying that this banner only unfortunately goes up to spirit side to ichigo's banner out of everything that caleb have done in the entire anniversary they have been doing a smashing job i can't say any negative thing about the anniversary just yet outside of this particular choose a six star they definitely did cuck us just a tad bit by cutting off almost six months worth of cards that we could have potentially picked from it definitely hurts the value in this choose a six star but regardless of that it's still a great thing to have in the game guaranteeing yourself a new character if you want to know who to go for, I recommend picking the anniversary characters, but I recommend waiting until after summoning on the anniversary. Of course, the two most valuable picks here in this entire Choose a Six Star is going to be our pick Ichigo and also Sixth Anniversary Aizen, potentially even Fifth Anniversary Ichigo and Byakuya if you are missing those four characters. But Artbook and also Aizen are featured in the Seventh Anniversary banner, so that you don't want to pick them on the Choose a Six Star and then end up pulling them on the anniversary banner. But maybe you do. Maybe you want dupes to them. But just keep in mind, the best thing to probably do is to wait until after you're summoning then use the choose a six star because the worst thing you want to do is get someone new from here and then eventually pull them as dupes but this is here until the end of august so you have a lot of time to use you don't need to use it day one but i know a lot of you are going to do so and again, in case you are wondering how this does work, as it says here, you get one of the 10 characters you choose. So you choose 10 characters, and you get given one of those characters for free at max level 200. So you're guaranteed a new character if you can pick 10 new ones that you don't have, and also 75 additional orbs. After that, we have 10 free Brave Soul Summons. So this is only going to include premium characters. There is more free multis to come. I can guarantee that in like two weeks time or a month's time, we're going to get 10 more multis with seasonals. And then they're probably going to finish off the campaign or the anniversary with 10 more free summons that include both seasonal and premium characters. They like to do that every year. And this is basically the start of those free multis. You get a free multi every day for 10 days. And the final multi guarantees you a five-star character. And lucky for us, they do showcase every single character character is in here normally they don't they're a bit cryptic about it but we know every single possible character here so it's basically from fifth anniversary all the way to start of the year of 2022 there's a lot of great characters to be had here starting from the fifth anniversary including sixth anniversary too and a lot of the newer premium characters too they're all pretty great i'm missing a few characters here so i'm actually looking forward to this normally the free modules are quite just lackluster for the most part and i don't really get too excited because i pretty much have everyone there so the fact that i'm missing a lot of characters here has me more excited for this particular banner and hopefully, ever watching this can get at least a new character because that will be, again, free orbs that you can use on the anniversary banner. We then had the 7th anniversary login bonus where you can log in over the course of 9 days, get 15 hog cues, 8 hog cue wills, and also 90 spirit orbs. Now, I do want to preface one thing is that this is, again, not the only login bonus we are going to get. Usually, we get around 150 orbs and a 5-star ticket. This time around, it's no 5-star ticket and less orbs. But I will say that there's most likely to be a part to this, mainly because this only lasts a week normally it would last around two or so weeks so basically at the end of the month when we get our next part round five of the anniversary we're most likely to get another set of login bonus potentially giving us more stuff or similar stuff we then, of course, have the 7th Anniversary Step Up banner, which I will talk about more so later today, and more so my plans going into this. I do think this is a definitely must summon for a lot of people out there. The fillers we already talked about this morning, just briefly. I do think the banner itself has a lot of value here. Sure, it could have been better had they maybe put in three specific characters, Okiro, Grimjow, and Rukia. That would have made the banner absolutely perfect. But the main point is that you do have both 7 Anniversary characters. Again, compared to last year, we only had one Anniversary character. This time, it has two new 7 Anniversary characters characters and they're both great both exciting characters and i think a lot of people myself included are going to be going for them tomorrow and then we also have the past anniversary characters and also our picture go that right there already makes us value a massive must summon if you lack these characters even if you lack dupes of them i have eyes in 5-5 and i'm going for another 5-5 copy don't really want more dupes of our book but i wouldn't really complain about it all too much just overall you have four of the best characters in the entire game so you literally just can't complain about that and then the other fillers again so 
some solid characters. You have two great Rina characters with Rose and also Momo. You have a really powerful ranged Espada Guild Quest character for those that may be struggling in that particular week. You are a pretty decent rank killer for IT if you aren't in need of a character for that, but I will say that Ranku is probably the most forgettable character in this entire banner. Christmas Social is a Lingster character, also a good one at that. Ryuka is good for the Quincy Guild Quest, and she also is a 30% dropper character. Chad is a great character for the Serpent Guild Quest, and Ginjo is also good in the Quincy Guild Quest, but also, most importantly, a 30% dropper character. So, a lot of value to be had here. Definitely a must summon. The banner itself does feature single summons and also multis. Uh, fortunately, again, it is the anniversary type of step-up banner, so your first multi is going to be free at a 4% rate, which is one of these 12 characters. So, you basically have a 1 in 4 chance to get one of these 4 anniversary characters on that game guaranteed step. Unfortunately, that's the only guaranteed step, and there's only, like, basically two discounts for the most part, so you will be repeating step 7, which has a 6% chance to get a featured character, again, one of those 12 fillers, and an extra 2% chance to get other character. It's a lot better in this case compared to how it usually is, as the unfeatured pour rate eats into the actual 6% pour rate. In this case, it's on top of it, so overall rates are 8% on that final step that you will be repeating if you do decide to go in on this banner, and it also means that if you do get an unfeatured character done, it kind of saved you from a dead multi because if that extra 2% for an unfeatured character wasn't there, it would have just been 6% and you would have gotten a 4 star multi. So while it might suck that you got baited by a, you know, fake out with a unfeatured character, at the very least you can know that if it wasn't there, it just would have been a 4 star. And even a bad 5 star is better than a 4 star summon. So yeah, I do think this is a must summon banner, especially if you are missing the past anniversary characters. It will be here until the end of the month, so you only have a week to summon on this, and right when this banner does leave, we are going to be getting the second anniversary banner, which will most likely be Safwi, featuring three very popular Beyond Bankai versions of Captains. That's not 100% confirmed, but we are getting a big banner for end of month, so you might want to hold out some orbs for that particular banner. That again will be getting announced on the 28th, so if you have for some reason the patience to not summon on day one, if you want to wait till the 28th, you might make a better decision if you want to summon on this banner or the end of month banner. Although I will say, even though end of month will feature only limited characters and probably exciting characters, the value part one has is absolutely insane and I don't see part two topping that. And the main reason why I do say that is because you basically have the four best characters in the entire game, all in different attributes. Arbuk Ichigo is going to be your go-to technique character. Aizen is going to be your go-to heart character. Uryu is going to be your go-to speed character. And Ichigo is now going to be your go-to mind character. So if you get all these four characters here, they're potentially going to be the only four characters you even need in this game. We then have the paid pack for the anniversary, the 7th anniversary pack, Golden Edition. It's going to be here from tomorrow until the August 16th. It's uh, it's an okay pack. I mean, it's $60 to $70. I don't really recommend buying it if you're not accustomed to spending money on gacha games. But for those that are paying, you are getting yourself like around 585 robes. And also a 5-star ticket where you can pick 5 characters and get one of the 5 you did choose. These are the standout characters. And it does include every premium seasonal character right before the 5th anniversary. We then, of course, have the 7th anniversary point event starting tomorrow all the way until August 10th. So you do have a quite a long time to actually farm this. With the 10 times soul ticket update, you can get a lot of points here. By doing this point event, you are going to be getting a 7-star commemorative coin. It's an accessory. Not really that useful, but it is just a collector's item for the most part to show that you were playing for the 7th anniversary. The great thing about this one is, again, it does give you a special move source, a power one at that, at 5 million points. And a special move source, in case you're unaware, is a very rare item that basically acts as a dupe for any power character that you do own. I personally recommend saving that until you get a 4 out of 5 power character that is worth using it on, most of a limited character, as that's the best way to use it. For me, I'm just going to save it until a new broken power character comes out. And they come out quite often, so I probably won't be holding it on for too long. These are going to be the bonus characters, so if you have 4 of these, you are going to get the full 200% bonus, giving you the max amount of points and lottery rewards. And it's also worth mentioning that this should be a boosted point event. So we get around 20% more points on average. And the great thing is, is that you're going to be able to get that on day one. Usually, for normal point events, you have to wait like a week or so for the second part to start, where you then get rewarded more points. In this case, it's going to be maximum amount of points, the highest points you can earn on a point event from the get-go. So if you are someone that wants to farm a massive amount of Brave Soul Summer tickets and Brave Soul Accessory tickets, this is the event to do it on. You have 10 times Soul tickets, you can easily get get a lot of points with or without a macro. If you're shooting for a billion points this anniversary, this is the time to do so. We then have the 7th Anniversary Orders Round 1, where you can get an extra 10 orbs. Nothing too special for the most part, but they do add up over time, so definitely make sure you do it. If you're playing the game, you're most likely going to do it anyway. 
Odoru and Jinta's daily gift Bonanza is also set to return where you can get a bunch of, you know, soul tickets, a few extra summon tickets, and maybe a couple of rainbow link stop potions. Uh, the best thing you can probably get here, unironically, is the soul tickets because it just means you can play the game more. I definitely want to get that, and the soul tickets does have the highest rate, so potentially this is like an extra 25 soul tickets that you can get every single day for almost basically 17 days. Usually these only last like a week. This time around and the previous time it was here, it's basically lasting around 17 days. So maybe Make sure you do this daily to get all those extra free rewards. We then have Khan's Mega Bonanza and also Rukia's Special Training Extra, just a limited time event that you do once a day and you get given extra rewards. This is mainly going to be more helpful for new players and most versions out there might not make the most use out of it as we've already maxed our characters. But by doing the Khan's Mega Bonanza, you are getting yourself a bunch of Power Hearts, 3 and 4 star and also large EXP crystals, which will help you max out your characters and also accessories. And then Rukia's Special Training is just going to give you a massive amount of EXP just for one soul ticket. So if you are maybe trying to max out your characters for the anniversary to try and get some orbs to summon on, this will be a good quest to do just to max out your characters instantly. We then have the increased item drop rate available from tomorrow all the way until the end of the month. All of these are going to be active at the same time. So if you want to farm Resurrection Rings, it's going to have a two times drop rate. If you want to farm Links or Potions, it's also going to have a two times drop rate. Personally, don't recommend it. Stick to Epic Roads. And if you want to farm Crystal and Jewels, it's also going to have a three times drop rate for the course of a week. Most importantly, though, the biggest one to note here is that Droplets have a three times drop rate in Enriched Droplet Zone and also Droplet Tuck. And also droplet trials. But most importantly, in Rich Droplet Zone, that's where you should be farming your droplets. So if you are someone that maybe isn't really interested in farming the point event, in Rich Droplet Zone is going to be the thing that you want to farm for the next week. Free time droplet rate for droplets is something that we've basically never seen before. And you already do get a decent amount of droplets when doing it with droplet characters or without droplet characters, regardless. You get a lot of droplets. So having a free time drop rate is going to be kind of crazy to see. And the great thing about that too is that droplet characters do increase the amount of droplets you do get. So that's getting tripled for the most part. So you're going to be able to get around on an extra stage if you're lucky, which does happen quite often, potentially like 70 plus droplets of each color in one soul ticket. If you want to farm droplets to max your characters, now is the time to do so. But do understand you might have to farm this over the 7th anniversary point event. But it is here until the 31st, so you could farm this and then you still have like 10 days to spare to farm the anniversary point event. We then have the 7th anniversary player questionnaire, which happens every single year on the 25th, where we get to add some valuable feedback and hopefully care actually listen to it. Can have the last year have been really good listening to our feedback and providing us with great quality live updates. So, so far, I think they're doing a great job. So make sure you do leave some valued feedback here and hopefully we can again make Bleach Brave Souls a better game. And then finishing up, we have the 7th anniversary celebration orders where you can tweet out a special order and get 20 orbs. Fortunately though, this just isn't available for PlayStation. Don't blame K-Lab, it's Sony's fault. But with that said, lads, that was basically the breakdown for everything that is going to be coming tomorrow as part of the 7th anniversary campaign. A lot to do, a lot of exciting things to farm, and hopefully we can all get lucky on the 7th anniversary banner as it does feature two really cool characters in the form of Quincy Ichigo and also Uryu. Two exciting characters that are definitely going to be really fun to play around with. So with that said, hope you lads enjoyed the video. In the comments below, let me know what you are most excited for, and I'll see you lads next time. Peace.